Welcome back guys to another edition of the Missing Tooth Mukbanger and the Cook with Tooth series. Today we're going to make an amazing dish, not a dish, but a dessert uh, called Snickerdoodles. I'll put in the, uh, in the description below what Snickerdoodles are along with the description of uh, what the Snickerdoodle is. Didn't I just say that? <laughs> and um, we'll go through the step-by-step -step process. This is a... Uh, recipe that the hubby um, actually has that he he actually went to pastry school or to baking school and this is one of his most popular orders that he gets from friends from family from my co-workers so we're gonna make it today hopefully you guys you guys will enjoy this um, this step-by-step -step direction on how to make some amazing snickerdoodles all right guys we'll see you in a little bit with all the directions thanks again all right guys, so here are the things that you're gonna need for this particular recipe for the snickerdoodles. You're gonna need some sugar, some cinnamon, three sticks of butter, three eggs, cream of tartare, baking soda, salt, a little bit of vanilla. We added uh, some vanilla, you don't have to, um, and some all-purpose flour. We'll get those all measured out so you guys can see it. Some is weighed, some is teaspoons. We'll show you what all of that is. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started. <laughs> there I am dropping, almost dropped the sugar. We're gonna start here weighing the items and we're gonna have one pound, two ounces of sugar. So we're weighing that out right now. Next, we're going to take uh, flour and uh, weigh out one pound, 10.5 ounces of all-purpose flour. We will continue with the dry ingredients, and this time we're going to add, we're going to add three teaspoons of cream of tartare three teaspoons of cream of tartare into this dry mix. And next we're going to add 1.5 teaspoons of baking soda. 1.5 teaspoons of baking soda. And last but not least, we're going to add three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. And we're going to mix it so that everything is incorporated into the dry mix. We're going to move over to the kitchen aid here. This is my hubby's uh, kitchen aid. We're going to put in the three sticks of uh, room temperature butter. And this method is called creaming method or cream the butter so we're going to put the butter in and now the sugar and we're going to begin the process of creaming the butter we also have the three eggs and we'll add that all together here first we're going to get the sugar and the butter incorporated together on the kitchen aid as you can see And then now we're going to add the eggs one at a time. I think I doused them all together. <laughs> yep. All right, we're going to go ahead and let that mix a little bit. Now we're going to add um, vanilla. I add one half teaspoon of vanilla. also want to do if you're using this kind of mixer is to make sure you're catching the sides and folding it back into uh, the middle of the bowl so that if there are any other areas that have not been mixed properly 
those can get uh, mixed as well. So this is the creaming method, creaming the butter first. Next, we're gonna get the flour, all the dry ingredients, and we're gonna put um, about a cup or so, or two cups each time. You don't wanna put it all together at the same time. Definitely will have a mess. <laughs> Get it mixed well, then you put another two cups of the of the mixture in to get that all mixed up and incorporated. Again, scraping the sides to make sure we get everything there as well. And last but not least, we're going to get our last two cups here. I believe this is the last two cups. Yep, we're gonna just pour the rest of it in there. And of course, there I am making a mess. <laughs> and we'll get that all mixed in. And I'll show you what the final product looks like. that we want still pliable and I'll show you what the next step is going to be here Now we're going to go ahead and put parchment paper onto uh, cookie sheets. I have two different sizes of cookie sheets that we have. And now we're going to put together our um, sugar and cinnamon mix <clears throat> into a bowl. And I believe I put two big heaping tablespoons of cinnamon first. And then I added sugar and I believe I put six or seven tablespoons of regular white sugar. There's five. And there's seven. You could probably do eight so that it's not so dark. So now you're gonna grab yourself an ice cream scooper, a mini ice cream scooper, and you're gonna start to um, take a scoop of the dough and you're gonna throw it right into the sugar and cinnamon mix. And I'll show you what, what, what I do is I actually do multiple of these balls first, ice cream scoop balls, before I start the process of coating them with the sugar and cinnamon. There it is. You can see there, I'm actually doing this uh, first batch and then the second batch on a different angle. Rolling them into the sugar and then placing them neatly on to the pan over there but since there it is there's the pan so on that big pan I think I fit 42 uh, was it 42 no 28 cookies I think we'll see it in the end here in a little bit and here it is it was 28 cookies those are our snickerdoodle cookies take them off and you put them right onto a cooling rack here to get the process of them cooling down as you normally would with with cookies well here it is guys our final product it is our snickerdoodles here check that out it's a little bright huh check out the snickerdoodles so I made about 52 in the first batch and I still have another 28 that's in the oven now but check that out hope you guys got the recipe okay in the directions I'll get that all 
hopefully you guys see it all down there and I'll put some of the text down there as well but look at those amazing snickerdoodles let's take a bite mmm nice and chewy guys nice and chewy just the way we like them see you guys on the next one bye bye two squad mmm